one of the most famous mother doctors who conducted experiments on prisoners of Nazi concentration camps was Sigmund Rascher. It was he who became the prototype of the cinematic image of a typical Dr. Evil from the German death camps. During his monstrous service in the Dachau concentration camp, he tortured many prisoners. But in the end, Russia himself fell into the millstones of the system he worked so hard for. The scoundrel turned out to be not only a sadistic scientist, but also an ordinary fraudster. Sigmund Russia was born in 1909 in the family of a doctor, which predetermined his fate. In 1933, he graduated from the University of Freiburg and in the same year joined the NSDAP. Russia worked for some time in Switzerland, after which he moved to Munich, where he began to deal with cancer diagnosis. In 1939, Russia joined the SS. At the same time, he met the singer Caroline Deer, who during the illegal activities of the Nazis in the Weimar Republic provided asylum to the future Reichsführer of the SS Heinrich Himmler. Thanks to her good relationship with Himmler, she arranged for her lover to meet him. The young doctor made a good impression on the Reichsführer, so Sigmund Rascher was entrusted with the leadership of scientific research on the early diagnosis of cancer. In August 1939, Sigmund Rascher was drafted into the Luftwaffe. It was as a representative of the Air Force that he was sent to work at the Dachau concentration camp in 1941. The doctor's task was to study the impact of a sharply changing load on the human body. Subsequently, this knowledge was supposed to be used to improve the efficiency of German pilots. In 1942, Sigmund Rascher began conducting experiments to study the effect of high altitude on the human body. To do this, the prisoners were placed in special pressure chambers where the air pressure was lowered to a level that would correspond to high altitudes up to 21 kilometers above sea level. Dachau prisoner Anton Parkholeg, who was forced to work in the department of Sigmund Russia, recalled that the prisoners who were tested went crazy, tore their hair, trying to reduce the pressure. Such experiments ended, as a rule, with the death of the subjects. There were those who remained alive after such experiments, but their killer doctor dissected them without anesthesia. So he wanted to find out what was going on with the brain. About 200 people became victims of such experiments. Also, under the leadership of Sigmund Rascher, Kroa experiments were conducted in Dachau to study the effects of low temperatures on humans and ways to save them from severe frostbite. The subjects were placed in a tank filled with ice water, observing with the help of special thermometers how their temperature changes in different areas of the body. At the first stage of the terrible experiment, the occipital region was immersed in water and then the cerebellum and the back of the neck were placed in cold water. And it was the second part of the experiments that led to the death of prisoners. Scientists justified such inhumane studies by the need to study the limit of human abilities. The effects of cold were studied in another way, the same nightmarish. Prisoners without clothes were driven out into the cold, and Sigmund Rascher watched what was happening to them. Some of the subjects tried to warm up again in order to study ways to restore a person who had suffered frostbite. Sigmund Rascher's relationship with Caroline Deal, which contributed to his career in the SS, subsequently ruined him. The fact is that the singer was 16 years older than her lover, and they were not allowed to get married for a long time, since children were not expected from their union, and this was mandatory for a married SS man. But soon they announced that they had a child, and then a second, and after that Himmler allowed them to officially become husband and wife. After that, 
Sigmund Russia began to speak at various scientific conferences where he promised to make a large-scale scientific discovery in the field of conception and childbirth. He did not forget to tell about his wife, who gave birth to three children after 45 years. Therefore, many German women who could not get pregnant were waiting with high hopes for the result of Sigmund Russia's work. But in March 1944, Pregnant with her fourth child, Caroline Deal was caught at the train station in Munich, where she tried to steal the baby. It soon became clear that she had no pregnancy. And after an investigation conducted at the initiative of Himmler by German doctors, it became clear that the woman had not given birth to any of the children that the Russians called their own. It turned out that the doctor took the babies to Dachau, after which he passed them off as his own children. Sigmund and his wife were not forgiven for such a grand deception. He was sent to the Buchenwald concentration camp, and the doctor was sitting in a bunker where particularly dangerous criminals were placed. After that, he returned to Dachau, but as a prisoner. Three days before the liberation of the camp, on April 26, 1945, he was shot by direct order of Himmler. Caroline Deal was hanged in Ravensbrück before Sigmund was shot.